Welcome, everybody. I'm Kelly Tidehill from Channel 5, and I'm so happy to be with all of you. And we're going to have some fabulous people join me on the stage today. Welcome. It's You can block me. It's all right. You're the reason why we're here. Come on up, everybody, our researchers. You're fine. Don't worry. You can block me. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a warm welcome for our BCRF recipients of our research dollars, our researchers. Dr. Larry Norton's now going to join me to come up and introduce you so you know by name and put a name with a face. But these are indeed, this is the work, this is what we do. These are our researchers, and we're so proud to have them with us. And if Dr. Norton can come up, we'll make sure you know all the names of the folks that are okay. here with us today. Thank Dr. You. Norton. Okay. Hi. Hey, hi, everybody. Everybody, get a seat. Okay. It's a, little, it's a little weird for somebody like me to come to Boston and feel so at home. All right. But I do. So maybe that says something good about, about me and maybe some good about Boston. Uh, this is a, uh, a wonderful event, and I'm so happy that you're all able to come here and join us today. It's really in celebration of uh, what we uh, have accomplished and what we're going to accomplish. You have before you, I think, 16 of the 27 New England grantees. Very often people will, will say, you know, I'm, I'm happy to give money, but I want to know where the money is going to go. This is where the money's going, everybody, all right, right here. And some of the really finest investigators, I could say, you know, in, in the world working on the breast cancer topic. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a total of about 4.3 million coming uh, to, from the BCRF into, into this, uh, this powerhouse of brain power we have doing, doing wonderful things. Uh, there's a long history, actually, of BCRF um, uh, support of, uh, of activities. It started actually with our first uh, Jill Rose honoree, Judah Folkman, 1997, um, and, uh, and uh, then grew uh, uh, Dirk uh, Igelhart, you were our second. Where are you, Dirk? And then, uh, and then, uh, then expanded uh, to Judy Garber, Dana Farber, Walt uh, Willett, uh, Joan Brugge, uh, various grants at Yale uh, that Lindsay Harris is now representing, uh, and, and so on. I'm just going to name all of the investigators. Not all of them are here. As I said, 16 out of the 27 are here. And as they're named, uh, they're, uh, as they're, named uh, they're going to step off the stage so you can see me better. <laughs> all right? Uh, or maybe they intentionally did it this way so you couldn't see me. Maybe that was the, really the goal. Uh, from Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, uh, uh, Lou Cantley, uh, Stu Schnitt, Nadine Tong. Continuous applause, Gerberg Wolf. From Brigham and Women's, Rose Berkowitz. From Children's Hospital, Marsha Moses, Zoltan, uh, Zoltan uh, Zalasi. Uh, Dana Farber, uh, Alan D'Andrea, uh, Monica Berganelli, and that's, in that's uh, representing uh, the Alliance for Clinical Trials and Oncology, uh, newly named. Cancer and Community Group B is part of that. Uh, that uh, Judy Garber uh, is on our, our scientific advisory board. Uh, Dirk Eichelhardt, already mentioned, Bill Kalin, Nancy Lynn, Dave Livingston, Ursula Machulonis, uh, Nelly uh, Polyak, Andrea Richardson, Charles Wang. From Dartmouth, uh, Karen Leiby and, and Mike Sporn. Uh, from the Harvard Medical School, Joan Brugge. Okay. And the Harvard School of Public Health, Walt Willett. Walt was staring, waiting for me to mention his name so he can get off the stage. <laughs> uh, from the uh, MGH, uh, Jose Baselga and Dan Haber. All right. And from Tufts University School of Medicine, Charlotte Kuperwasser. Uh, Whitehead Institute, Bob Weinberg, and Yale uh, University School of Medicine, represented by Lin Lindsay Harris. Um, is the total cumulative amount of money that's gone into support wonderful researchers, and I, I don't like to put it just in numerical terms. I'm going I'm to give you the, the, the amount, but it represents an enormous amount of the highest possible quality science of clinical relevance. Uh, and uh, the total amount that's come to BCRF into the, into the New England network of wonderful investigators is $36 million. Uh, BCRF was refounded, uh, started with a conversation between Evelyn Lauder and myself to do two things, uh, actually to eradicate breast cancer and to do it two different ways to support the very best quality of clinically relevant science by supporting the very best people 
As Bob Weinberg says, we invest in people, we don't invest in projects. Projects change, but scientific creativity is something that's, that's continuous if you identify the right people. And to return uh, as much money as we can raise immediately, we have no endowment. More than 90% of the money raised goes to support the science. It's a skeleton crew of people that do an extraordinary job. It's under the leadership of the person I'm introducing, uh, who has done a, a, an amazing job of, of running this fantastic organization, and that's Myra Bibelowit. Please help me join her. Thank you.